Imagine a world where editing your videos or podcast was as simple as editing a text document. Where you can type in anything that you've missed and the audio will automatically create itself without having to re-record more video. Or that you could simply delete your mistakes by just pressing the delete button. Life as a content creator would be so much simpler. Well, it turns out that that world exists and it goes by the name of Descript. So this video is a Descript review and I'm going to demonstrate why this is a great application for bloggers, YouTubers and podcasters alike. I'm going to show you some of the next generation features that are creating a huge buzz about Descript. Now what is Descript and how does it work? Now Descript was initially marketed as a podcast editing suite but after some acquisition and rapid growth they added to that functionality and started developing Descript into an audio and video editing suite. Rather than the same old, same old approach to editing that so many other software vendors take, Descript is a little more unique. They've restyled the way that we can edit audio and video and have made it as simple as just typing into a text document. But don't let that simplicity fool you. In this Descript review, we're going to look at some of the advanced AI capabilities and fancy features that are growing their reputation fast. So who's Descript for? Descript can benefit all forms of marketers, entrepreneurs and content creators. Personally, I write blogs and I've got this YouTube channel. Not only could I edit all of my YouTube videos using Descript, but it has the potential to repurpose that content and split it across all other social media channels in a really quick way. So if you create audio or visual content on any platform, then Descript could be excellent for you. Let me explain how by looking at some of the best features which set it apart. So first we've got automatic transcription. If you've ever seen one of my videos, you'll know I've got a very thick northern accent. Most transcription services like Otter and YouTube itself really struggle to identify what I'm saying. I mean, my own family barely understand me, so what chance do they have? So without paying for elocution lessons, I'm reliant on a good quality transcription service. And Descript provides that. When you import some audio or video clip, it'll present you with three options for transcribing your content. First is automatic. A self-explanatory really, Descript will analyse and transcribe your content. The speed at which this happens is dependent on the size of the content. White Glove. Now, this is a manual transcription service that you'll pay extra for, but it'll provide enhanced accuracy. So it costs about $2 per minute of audio and generally takes one to three days to complete. Or you can import transcript. Now, maybe you prefer to use third-party transcription services like Rev.com. Well, no problem. You can easily just import the transcribed file. Personally, I stick with the automatic option and I've been hugely impressed with the transcription accuracy. Where there are minor errors, it's really simple to correct. You just type the correct word in and you're done. Overdub is the crown jewels of Descript in my opinion. If you check out the Descript website, they describe the product as... Descript is a collaborative audio video editor that works like a doc. It includes transcription, a screen recorder, publishing and some mind-bendingly useful AI tools. Overdub definitely comes under the mind-bendingly useful AI tool part. But what is it? Well, imagine that you've recorded your video, and when you play it back, you've made a mistake, or missed something crucial out, or an instruction has since changed. Normally, you would then have to re-record that section. But with Overdub, you don't. Instead, you can create an AI clone of your voice, deep fake your own voice, and then type in the missing words, and Descript will generate some cloned audio. This overdub feature is pretty amazing. You don't have to say a word once you've set it up. It's basically a text-to-speech generator, but using your own voice. That's pretty amazing. Now, I love this feature. It shows how innovative Descript is. Now, included in overdub is the ability to use stock voices too, just in case you want to create your entire content with an AI voice and not have to say a single word yourself. Hey there, my friend. If you like this video that John has created, then why not subscribe to his channel? You won't regret it. Next up is filler word removal. So um, this feature is um, all about when you um, mumble and stutter your way through your audio and you'll leave loads of mm, filler words in that aren't needed. A slight exaggeration, but you get what I mean. Now, a couple of clicks of the mouse and Descript will carry out filler word detection. Identify all of these filler words and then allow you to delete them in one go, saving you a ton of time on your editing. Studio Sound is a brand new feature that allows you to improve your audio with the click of a button. This is great for those recording at home, struggling to get rid of that awful audio that bounces off every wall in that tiny little room you're in. 
You can remove noise, enhance speech and sound like a pro, all in a click of a button. Now, if you want to learn more about this feature, then go and check out my other videos where I'm going to go in depth with some of the best parts about Descript. Adding captions to your videos has been proven to create more engaging content that keeps the viewer watching longer, as well as the obvious benefits that it brings to those who don't necessarily understand your language or are hard of hearing. Descript gives you the option to add fancy captions where the previously transcribed audio will display on the screen. You can add shapes and backgrounds to make this presentable on your videos, or if you're a podcaster, then you can create audiograms too. This is where your audio file and captions are played over a static image. It's a great way to repurpose your content for platforms such as Instagram. Word document editing. So for an experienced video editor, you may struggle to adapt to Descript initially. The fact is, it's different, unusual even. Whilst you still have multi-track editing and a timeline to monitor your audio, this is an editor that is based on a text document. So if you want to cut a section out, just delete the words. I think this is a great way of simplifying the video and audio editing process. Sure, it's got its limitations and I'm going to cover them shortly, but its simplicity is beautiful. We're so used to typing text messages, emails, Word documents, it's got a familiarity that creates a really nice user experience. Cloud sync and multi-user collaboration. Firstly, it's worth pointing out that whilst this is a cloud app, some of the editing options are only available in the downloaded application that you need to install on your machine. On the whole, Descript has been designed so that you can work in teams. Your content is synchronized across the cloud. You can share your AI voice with named people, as well as commenting, version history, and more, to make this a truly collaborative platform. Recording options. Now, Descript aims to be an all-in-one video and audio editor which for many content creators requires flexibility around what can be recorded. This is why they've got the ability to screen record with or without PIP, picture in picture of yourself. It even automatically transcribes your audio as you speak to try and speed things up. Additionally, they allow anyone in your team to use the screen recording for free. The only people who need licenses are the editors themselves. On a similar note, you can easily capture the audio and video of remote meeting technologies such as Skype and Zoom so that they too are captured within your Descript project. A necessity for any podcasters out there that like to carry out interviews. There's a lot to like about the Descript product. They're taking the pain away from having to learn complex video editors and wrapping that up in a unique way that people can recognize and adapt to. Descript doesn't conform to the norm, they innovate. Now my favorite things about Descript have to be overdub. I can quickly correct or add to my content just by typing in a few words. This really saves me time and gives me some reassurance if I get anything wrong. Pricing. More on this in a moment, but honestly, I think given the capabilities around Descript, I think the pricing is really reasonable, especially when you consider the time and money it saves me elsewhere by providing a more streamlined editing workflow. Repurposing content. Descript allows me to edit my videos in a way that I can then repurpose them for other platforms too. Its flexible approach means that I can simply create smaller videos and audiograms to market my business all without much additional effort. But it's not all sunshine, roses and unicorn farts. There are some things that I don't like about Descript and this is them. First, let's talk about the speed. At times, I found myself waiting for Descript to catch up. Specifically around the overdub feature, it allows me to edit and add words in a responsive way, but then there's lag whilst it generates the audio and downloads it. Now, I could be being way too critical here, and equally, it could just be the environment that I'm working in, such as my old dog slow laptop. Basic video editing. Now, the team at Descript admit themselves that this isn't the finished article. They've got basic effects and transitions that can be applied purely from a video perspective, but it's not going to drive too much fear into the likes of Adobe Premiere. However, that doesn't mean to say it's one or the other. Descript can still play a part in your video editing workflow before moving over to Premiere for the second wave of editing. Now, one thing that's important to point out is that Descript is aware of their limitations and they allow the community to vote up features that are needed so that they can prioritize development to what the customer needs and wants. How much does Descript cost? Well, as you can see on the screen now, you can actually get started with Descript for free. And I'm gonna leave a free trial link below in the description. Descript have got a pricing strategy in line with other software vendors where some of the advanced features are bundled into the higher price packages and also you get discounts if you pay annual rather than monthly. But check it out yourself because obviously since I've recorded this video, the prices may have changed drastically. What are the alternatives to Descript? 
Well, when it comes to competition, there's no shortage of video and podcast editors as well as transcription tools and services. For traditional style video editing, then you've got the likes of Phil Mora, Adobe Premiere, DaVinci Resolve, amongst many, many more. Podcasters often look to tools like Adobe Edition or Audacity for their audio editing needs. And if you need your audio file transcribing, then you've got apps like Otter AI or outstanding services like Rev.com. But Descript is different. It's a unique blend of all of these, and I think that's where it really excels. In summary, there are certain things that I look for when it comes to software subscriptions. Will it help me create better content and improve my workflow? Does it make financial sense and is the cost worthy of the benefits? Is the company actively developing the product and going in the right direction? And if I'm going to recommend it, then am I happy paying for it myself? Now, I believe Descript more than covers these requirements and I'm happy to say that I would highly recommend it to anyone who is looking for a video and audio editing suite that offers something a little extra. I think the overdub, studio sound, fancy captions and transcription options are outstanding and open up the world of editing to anyone who is used to just playing around with a Word document. But see for yourself, check it out below. And the video on screen next is going to help you even more with your video editing process. I'll see you next time.